these are zebra chips. As you can see, they've been more or less burned in the process of frying. In contrast to normal potato chips, these are otherwise unpalatable to consumers. They won't harm you, they just don't taste very good. And what happens is that the sugars inside this tuber have been altered by the disease. And so when you fry chips from this tuber, or a tuber affected with zebra chip disease, the result is this. I want to tell you about a new disease that we're working on called zebra chip of potato. This is caused by a bacterium and it's moved from plant to plant in the field by an insect called psyllid. This problem is, is so severe, not only in Texas, but now it's spreading around the United States, that we are getting together a group of researchers from five different states. And we also are working with USDA scientists in hopes of being able to come up with a solution for this disease. One of the research projects we have going on here in Amarillo is to study what effect these tubers have on ultimate plant growth. What I mean by that is, when you have plants infected with zebra chip, what happens to those tubers? Do they produce plants themselves? And if so, what do these plants look like? All right, here's our plant that we think is affected by zebra chip. That we look for things such as these little aerial tubers. These are tubers that grow above the ground. And so plants affected by zebra chip will often produce these structures. And we, again, pull up this plant and cut them open. This is what you see inside the potato tuber. This is zebra chip. What we're doing here in this room is we're doing fry samples to check the defect levels within the chips. Okay, here's a sample with the zebra chip potato. Um, fortunately, it's not to a level where we're having rejects. But in years past, this defect right here has cost over a million dollars just on my farm. Potato producers all over the United States are losing millions of dollars every year to this zebra chip disease. What we hope to accomplish over the next five years are research tools that will help growers. For more information, contact Dr. Charlie Rush with Texas AgriLife Research in Amarillo, Texas.